We were down at the uh, local Wellingborough branch of Maidenhead Aquatics uh, during the week. I think it was uh, Wednesday, it's Sunday now, and uh, we were having a well, we spent probably a good hour down there chatting to the guys there, really knowledgeable and helpful. And I was looking through all the Red Sea uh, bits and pieces, and I noticed this Reef Mature Pro Kit, uh, which seemed to be very useful for where we were with, uh, with our new tank and um, it's basically a 21 day course um, with certain things to put into the tank on certain days to promote you know the good bacteria and get the cycle working properly and uh, you know to mature the tank um, <clears throat> so we're currently on day four of uh, this Red Sea Reef Mature Pro kit and uh, I'll put the test results up uh, on the forum later on and uh, I mean things are starting to change very slowly we've had a little, little uh, spike in ammonia but not very much uh, it seemed to be only for the one day um, the only thing that bothers me at the moment with the figures is the phosphates are are really quite high um, but you know, it's early days yet this was I think around 23 pounds I can't see it on the box but around that figure and uh, it's all very nicely laid out in the little booklet tells you obviously what it's uh, what it's for I don't think this is going to focus there we go Tells you what it's for, and uh, then goes on to show you what to do uh, on each day. Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing that uh, might be an issue is um, test and record the pH and KH alkalinity. Calculate the KH coralline grow, which is uh, that one there, and. Uh, dose accordingly well if you've seen the other videos of the, um, the American Marine care test kit I had a problem getting the lid off of this KH bottle in the end I had to take the black lid off it was the, the white cap underneath you know the dropper part of the, uh, the lid that was just being stuck in the lid and just left us with an, uh, you know, an open <laughs> bottle um, we I, I broke the other one out, which obviously broke it completely, the white plastic. So we took it back to uh, the shop and uh, they kindly just swapped it out, gave us a brand new one. And I've got exactly the same problem. You're supposed to pull down on the lid and turn it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. But as soon as you twist, the whole lid, the black lid and the white plastic underneath just comes off. So I can't actually use it. Um, so that will be going back on uh, Tuesday uh, again. Fortunately, I think we're on day five today. Uh, it's day six that we're supposed to do that, which would be Sunday. Uh, so we just might have to adjust this out by a couple of uh, days, which is annoying. Uh, this then goes on through various days. Water change at day seven. 5% which doesn't seem very much um, and then day 10 there's a whole load to do and then they're talking about introducing the uh, cleanup crew uh, with their suggested uh, members and then carries on through to day 21 and you know exactly what you do after that um, and obviously the results will vary from tank to tank and uh, there's just some tips there on marine sorry fish only and then LPS and SPS corals and that's pretty much it so you know it seemed like a good idea to have a, a go with this as the tank didn't seem to be doing an awful lot even after putting the pinch of uh, uh, food in the, in the so we'll see how we do with that. Um, this Red Sea kit has been great. It's still really hard to determine the pH 
uh, value. Uh, the colour just doesn't match the colours on the chart. But um, we're now sort of going by shade rather than colour, if that's the right way of describing it. And I think we were around 8. It's uh, pretty annoying not to be able to test that. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to put the camera down and just show you what happens. Let me just balance it here for a second. So I'm pushing down and twisting, and what happens is, yeah, there you go, the white nylon dropper section just comes off with the black lid and leaves you with a open top bottle. So, uh, yeah, not much, uh, not much use for that one. As you can see on there, press and turn, but it just will not release. And that's it on the floor. Yeah, so that will obviously have to go back. Either I'm, I don't have the deck, <laughs> there's some problem. Anyway, so that was that. Uh, the only other thing, new addition, uh, is this PO4 phosphate tester uh, by Salifert. Um, now, I, this, this was substantially cheaper than the Red Sea phosphate tester. Um, unfortunately, I now realise why, because this really isn't uh, as well produced as... I'm going to drop the spoon on the floor. There we go. This isn't uh, as well produced as the Red Sea one. So what you have here is some powder with its little spoon and a liquid and a canister. And I uh, can't remember whether there was a syringe with this or not. But whatever, the card is incredibly hard. Let me get that out of the light. The card is incredibly hard for me to determine the colours, especially at the very, very low range. Um, I think the first day we used it, I thought we had 0.25, and then the day after, I thought we had between 0.03 to 0.01. Very hard uh, indeed. That's got a sort of waterproof coating on the card. But it hasn't on the back, which is just stupid. You know, just a bit of cost cutting there. Again, plastic uh, container with a push on plastic lid. Not very nice. And uh, instead of putting the instructions just on the back of the card, they've printed out this great big sheet um, in multiple languages. Uh, and the English version starts there and then jumps up. <laughs> so there, so it's not like you can even fold it up and just have a neat card. You have to open this stupid thing up every time. So yeah, not impressed with that. Uh, I th I'm sure it works. Um, my colour vision isn't the best. I'm sure other people find it just absolutely fine to read the colours, but I was struggling, you know, at this low end. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, when I can afford it, I'm going to get as many electronic testers as possible and uh, get rid of some of these uh, in the process. So yeah, that's that and uh, we'll uh, catch you later.